Hey, Jay Clark for uh, Renthal. We're going to show you how to install a set of uh, Renthal Intel levers in this video. We have a clutch perch and front brake lever complete setup. We're going to show how to install on a Honda CRF uh, right now. So we're going to start by removing the stock front brake lever. And to do that, we take off the stock boot that covers up the, uh, the bolt and so forth. And if, if our helper Dave is a little stronger, he could pull it off really quick. But they're not too tough to pull off. So you just pull that off out of the way. Now we're going to remove the bolt, and it has a nut underneath, and uh, you can pull that off. Usually you don't have to have a wrench on top to, to get both off. Pull the nut off, and then pull the top uh, bolt out, and we'll reuse this same stock bolt. This is Installing the Intel lever in this bike is just like installing your stock clutch lever. Same, same concept. And it's spring-loaded, so it's going to kind of pop out here, like so. So we have our stock lever off. In this case, we need to remove the stock plunger. It has a little rubber uh, piece that, cut, that attaches. We pull that off. And then the stock torsion spring that was installed, we won't be using that anymore with the Intel lever. So in this case, we're going to put a, just a little tiny dab of grease in the contact point in there where the plunger rides. We're going to install the plunger just like we pulled off the stock one right on. There's a little lip for the rubber a protector sheath there to, to go over. So you just clip that on there. So that we're going to put a little grease into the hole, contact hole, and also onto the, to the shaft of the stock uh, pivot bolt. So we pull back on the torsion spring. We pull back as we go to install it into the master cylinder. We push back on the rubber piece and hold right to there. And then we have our buddy Dave. Everybody's got a buddy Dave. While you're holding it, we drop the bolt in to the hole. And once you kind of just even get it started in the hole, it'll kind of hold in place. And we can get our T-handle on, onto the bolt head. So at this point, we tighten down with our T-handle. We tighten it down all the way to where it stops. And then we just back it off just a hair. Now we grab our nut. And what, that, what that allows is the brake lever to work properly. If you tighten it down all the way, the brake lever won't have proper action. So hold, hold the top of the bolt and dial in our nut to where it stops. You can dial them both firm together. So now we have good, good, good pivot, and now we'll show how to adjust the lever closer or further away from your hand. So at this point, we can loosen the, the nut, and if we dial this in, the adjuster, we can dial it in a ways, tighten it up, and that gets the lever further away from our fingers. And if you have shorter hands, shorter fingers, you'll want to bring it closer. If you have longer hands, bigger fingers, you'll want to have it out further. So you want a nice, good position. And once you have that established, then you just snug the nut and you're done. And that's all there is to it. And with this Intel lever, you can see if you were to crash, you can, it'll go all the way down this way. And same thing the other way. So good action there, simple to install. So now you just throw on the rubber shroud and now we'll show how to install the clutch side. First thing we're going to do is remove the front number plate. You don't necessarily have to do this. It'll be easier for us to show us adjusting the cable right now. Um, it's a little easier to get to the cable adjustment on this particular bike. So what we want to do to start, since we know that the two clutch perches are going to have different uh, clutch adjustments, we're going to back the uh, clutch adjustment all the way out on the stock one to give us plenty of room to install the new uh, clutch perch. With an 8 mil and a 10 millimeter wrench, you can back off the adjuster nut. We'll back it off uh, mostly, most all the way and we'll dial all the adjustment in. So this we're driving, uh, dialing inwards and this is taking all the slack now out of the clutch cable. We'll pull back the stock rubber boot here. That's the quick adjuster and now the rubber boot around the actual clutch lever. As we pull these back, now we'll be able to grab the clutch cable and pull the barrel of the clutch cable right out of the lever. It'll fall right out. Now we'll, let's go ahead and remove the stock two rubber uh, boots there. So at this point, we just simply remove the stock clutch perch with just the two eighths. Now we remove this, the bolts out of the Intel lever perch. 
real easy. And then we can install it right onto the bar. At this point, we want to make them just dial them down uh, snug and try to keep them evenly uh, tighten as we tighten the two down. Keep an even amount of gap going between the two sides. And we pull it into where the end of the lever is just say a quarter inch or so away from the end of the grip and just just clears the the big the big edge of the grip and then you can see at the end of the bar the lever just is just uh, a quarter inch or so from the inside of the bar like so okay so at this point we're going to pull the gray adjuster um, off there's our adjuster cover the rubber piece and we're going to slide it into the into the barrel of the, of the clutch cable. This can be a little bit tough at times, but it'll, it'll go through and just pull it back so there's plenty of room. Open the adjuster to where there's a gap to where you can uh, get the cable through and you're all the way dialed in. We hook the barrel of the cable into the lever first. We get that in there and with our cable adjusted out, we should be able to pull the cable and get it set into the uh, into the barrel adjuster, just like so. And so now we, we need to put some tension back into the cable. We'll back the adjuster out just a few, few threads, and now we can adjust the stock clutch cable and keep on going out until we have just a little bit of play. And we'll, we'll snug those back up with an 8 and a 10 wrench. So at this point right here, we can see we have a few threads showing. So we're not at, the, at any one of, end of our spectrum. If anything, we'll be uh, tightening the lever as, we, as, as it gets tightened down. Um, so we'll have room to adjust. And so we want to make sure we have room at our adjuster there and also here. And so now we can put the rubber boot back on our quick adjuster like so. And we make sure we have just a hair bit of play um, in, in our lever. So install the rubber shield. This keeps the debris out of the... Uh, the clutch perch, pretty simple deal. So just with an Allen heads, just screw them right back in. Okay, so now we've reinstalled our front number plate, uh, which is back on. Our front brake lever, we didn't change the level, so it's at the same level, so that should feel right. Our clutch lever, clutch perch here with the Intel lever, we can adjust to exactly where we want. In this case, we like a nice level feel, so probably about right in there. You want to get it snug, keeping the same gap, top and bottom. And you can get these plenty tight because, of course, the Intel levers bend both directions. Also, for it's, we have a new barrel. For these are for uh, some of the Suzuki's. Some of the bikes require a longer barrel, and those come with the with the Intel lever as well. So everything you need there to do the job right and install the Intel levers.